Hey guys, it's Roxy with Roxy's Broadway Breakdown, where I break down all things musical theater. And if you like that, don't forget to subscribe and click the like button. Okay, so today I am breaking down songs for contraltos. I have done this for sopranos and mezzos. And you might think, well, what is a true contralto voice? Well, sometimes the term alto is thrown out there. And that encompasses both mezzo-sopranos and contraltos. And mezzo-soprano voices, I think, of um, are those big belt voices that are in their chest, but they also can slip up to that soprano range. They can utilize that upper register, that head voice a little bit easier, and they can sort of belt up there too. Contralto voices, um, I think of those big heavy chest voices. They're big belters too, but they have a little bit rounder tones, um, a little bit huskier sounding, a little bit smoky sound. Um, and the, they're both found in like opera, jazz, pop, musical theater. But I think of voices like Judy Garland, Debbie Reynolds, Reba McIntyre, Carol King, Tina Cher. Anyway, let me give you some song choices um, from musical theater that I might, uh, I think they might fit contralto voices. So from Kiss of the Spider Woman, um, the song Kiss of the Spider Woman that the Spider Woman sings, this is a very dramatic belt song that takes a lot of acting. In fact, these next few songs kind of all fit that bill. Uh, from the Pirate Queen, the song Woman that Grace sings is also a big powerhouse belt song. From City of Angels that Bobby sings with Every Breath I Take, this is a beautiful ballad, but it is a strong one. Um, from Oliver that Nancy sings As Long As He Needs Me, talk about a torch song. Um, but do you really need to keep that torch going for Bill Sykes? Um, from Jekyll and Hyde, Lucy sings A New Life. Now, sometimes I think um, Lucy tends to go a little bit mezzo-soprano because she does utilize that upper register and sometimes even has that ethereal side to her voice. But A New Life, I think, sits deep in the chest. And then from Aida, Easy as Life. Um, huge belt song, and I think this is one of the best examples in musical theater of a contralto song. Okay, now going a little bit lighter, we're going to pop. Um, it's a it's a belt song, but it's more of a, a light pop song from the musical Beautiful, the Carol King musical, and the song is Beautiful. And I would consider anything that Carol King sings uh, in that show a contralto song because Carol King was a contralto. From Annie Get Your Gun, I picked I Got the Sun in the Morning and the Moon at Night. Um, because interestingly enough, Reba McIntyre did sing this role, and I love her big, husky, kind of raspy sound. But, you know, Ethel Merman did create this role, and she has more of that brassy Broadway sound. And then Bernadette Peters most notably played this role and she has more of that lyrical melodic sound so all three women brought something very different vocally to this role okay from the musical irene a uh, world must be bigger than an avenue and debbie reynolds made this role very famous um she also made the role molly brown in the unsinkable molly brown very famous and she has a big chesty husky voice and if you're thinking does she if you're thinking of her voice and singing in the rain, like with, you know, you are my lucky star that's very light and airy. Yes, she does, because that was not her singing in Singing in the Rain. Her voice was dubbed, which is kind of ironic because that's the plot line of Singing in the Rain. Her voice is used for Lena Lamont, but they didn't even use it. Her voice was dubbed. All right, so um, Meet Me in St. Louis, Judy Garland is known for the role of Esther, and she sings beautiful ballad, Boy Next Door. And this goes to show you that even if you have one of those huge belt, chesty voices, that you can sing these beautiful, soft lullabies. This one just, the notes lay on top of each other, and it's just gorgeous. Um, I had to put in from Best Little Whorehouse in Texas, Hard Candy Christmas, because even though all the girls sing this, it's just a beautiful song, and it's it's obviously got a country feel, but it tells a story, and um, that sits nice and in a low register. 
Um, I also picked from Anne Juliet, one of the newest jukebox musicals on Broadway. Juliet sings Roar from Katy Perry, and I would consider her a contralto. And so if you are comfortable singing these newer, fresher pop songs, that that's sort of the way Broadway's tending these days, go ahead and sing a pop song. I mean, there's plenty to choose from. Pink, Shakira, Alicia Keys, Lady Gaga. I mean, there's a lot to choose from out there. Um, anything from The Cher Show or Tina Turner, The Musical, very iconic contralto voices. So there you go. I mean, I hope that gives you some guidance where to go, um, where to look, and um, check out all my other videos, and I'll see you in the next.